All right, you guys are gonna think I'm super weird, but I'm filming in the bathroom. I'm trying to escape my kids. I just need like five minutes, just five minutes to give you guys an update. I'm on week two of uh, post-op gastric bypass. I'm feeling great. And uh, I just wanted to give you what's going on, what's, uh, what's the update. So um, week two, I've already lost 10.7 pounds in total. Uh, honestly, I've been on a stall for the last six days. Uh, apparently it's normal. I have been freaking out about it, but apparently it's normal. I reached out to my clinic and I said, what's going on? Um, I'm eating about 500 to 600 calories right now, and I'm able to tolerate everything. Um, I had my one week appointment after the operation and they already put me on like soft foods. So I'm having like uh, parades and uh, soups and I'm having yogurts. And so far I've been able to tolerate everything. Um, I wanted to also let you know that uh, my scars here, uh, they still have the uh, bandage on, so the dressing is still on, so I can't even see them yet. And they're hooked on very tight. I tried to remove them, uh, and they're just stuck there. So I have another appointment with the RN in two weeks. I think I'm just going to leave them on there unless they fall off on their own. And then uh, we'll take a look at that. Um, what else I wanted to let you know? Oh yeah, um, energy. I have full of energy now. So first week I was really low on energy, but ever since I've been on the soft foods right now, um, I'm also taking the protein shakes. Uh, I'm able to keep up with my uh, protein requirements. I'm drinking all my liquids. So my energy is back, which is great. Now for those who have seen my other videos, um, I suffer from an eating disorder and binging and uh, that doesn't go away after the surgery. It, like I said, it's always a head game. Um, I still think about food all the time. I literally the other day I was driving and I'm like, I just want to stop by and pick up my favorite chips. Um, of course, I didn't do it, but the urge is still there. I wouldn't be able to handle it. Um, you know, you have that restriction and thank goodness I have that restriction. But the urge is still there. So I'm still seeing my psychologist on a regular. I'm still seeing the behavioral therapist as well. And we're just working through those issues. So for those that think that, you know, this operation is the easy way out, it's not. I'm still struggling. I'm struggling mostly with my thoughts. And uh, I'm struggling with the addiction. And honestly, that does not go away after you have the surgery. Um, what else? Uh... Yeah, so I guess that was it. It's a short video. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing great. Uh, I feel great. I'm super happy that I had this operation. It's really put a lot of things into perspective. Um, when I get those urges of, you know, binging or wanting to have a certain food that I can't have right now, I have to sit back and think about it. I have to, like, analyze my needs and I want to uh, just look at my behavior so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing journaling as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys do journaling, but for me, it's always been helpful. It just, I'm able to track my thoughts, my feelings, my behaviors, and then look back at it and try to analyze them. It also helps out with my therapy sessions as well. Um, that's about it. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Thank you so much for watching. And also just to, guys, to let you guys know, um, I do have uh, this YouTube channel, obviously. I also have an Instagram and I also have a TikTok account. It's all under the same name. So this to that life. So if you're interested, follow me. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Bye.